This is the uh, Tennessee intercourse practice test for the Algebra 1 intercourse test. Um, the question number 37, sorry. In the beginning of year one, Catherine deposits $100 in an account that pays 5% interest compounded annually. She makes no other deposits or withdrawals. The amount in the account at the beginning of each year is shown in the table. So this is after a year, at the beginning of year one, she puts $100. Uh, year two, it shows you how it goes up, three and four. Which function represents the amount in Catherine's account at the beginning of year in, which is to say, um, if we were looking for an equation that could tell us what it would be in 30 years, we could use this equation to figure it out just by plugging in the value 30, which would be in. So we're trying to find a generic version of it. Really, I mean, you could spend your entire life fiddling with this if you wanted to, or you could just use the fact that you're given a set of uh, possible answers. Treat these like a machine. Plug in your input to each machine and see if it gives you output. So A says uh, that A sub n is 100. Well, if that were true, then in year two, our answer would also give us 100. But as you can see, 100 times 1.05, which represents 5% interest, gives us more than 100. So you know it's not A. But what we can do is try B, which says um, 100 equals 1.05 times n minus 1. So what we're going to try to do is plug it in for 2. Now, if you can see, it's a little tough to tell because of the glare. Um, it should say n minus 1. Hopefully, you have it with you. n would be year 2, so I'm going to put in uh, 2 minus 1. And it gives me 105, which is exactly what it should give. In year 3, we're going to see if that works as well. And see if they match up. And the answer it gives you is 110.25. Well, it should. I mean, really, in this question, you don't have to do anything even remotely that complicated. Look at the question itself. Don't overthink it. The only thing that is changing is that it has this 1.5. This would be 1.05 times 0, or times itself, times 1. So that would be 2 minus 1. And 1 would be 1 minus 0. 1.05 raised to the 0 power is going to give you 1, which should lead to 100. The exponents are going up are one less than the value. So you're looking for one that gives you one less. N plus one, like this one, would give you one more. So in year four, it would be five, but it says three here. So your answer has to be B. You didn't even really have to think on that one. You didn't have to go through anything. Just look logically what the question says.